What's up everybody? I first want to start this video by saying this is not a step-by-step -step guide on how to do solar. I'm going to show our process and what we did um, throughout the, the entire setup and then um, I'll recap it at the end. Good morning. Today is Saturday and my dad and I are installing a max air vent on top of the RV or travel trailer and then also the solar, maybe, if we can get it figured out. I think we can do it. He's pretty competent. <laughs> long <laughs> yeah hot i don't think that we were it's not that we weren't prepared but it, it took a lot more time than i thought we oh but, yeah so we have the panels on the roof they're mounted now we have to run the panels into the combiner box and then the combiner box down essentially we have all the wiring to do right right yeah, yeah. so you ready for tomorrow yeah <laughs> yeah i'm ready to go to bed honestly <laughs> i'm tired it was a long day long day good morning it is very humid outside, so it may fog up and I may have to clean it up again. But I figured I'd give you an update on the inside of the camper and then show you what we did with the solar on top. Um, my dad and I took down this panel yesterday and that's above that is where we're gonna put the battery monitoring system and the um, like current limiter for it. Um, what is this? This thing. the. Uh, multi-control for the inverter and now I'll go up top and show you what the solar looks like it's really wet up here so I don't know if it rained again last night or if that's just like the dew and the humidity but we have the three solar panels laid out and then over there you can see that's the combiner box so all the solar panels will run into that combiner box and then they'll run down into uh, the trailer into the compartment that we have the storage and that's where um, the multi or the solar charge controller the batteries the inverter um, the fuse the disconnects everything will be down in that compartment uh, yeah so today it's actually running all the wires and then then we should see if it works Here's your update. Dad and I are usually way too busy to film while we're doing it, but I'll show you how much we got accomplished. We still have some more to do. We got the three batteries connected. We have the inverter over there, solar charge controller, breaker, fuse, disconnect. So all of that is ran today. We also finished all the solar and everything on the roof. So next we have to break in between shore power and the um, fuse panel inside with the inverter. And then we have some other things to hook up, like the battery monitoring system and a couple other things. But that is all we have left. I say all, but it's probably still a lot of stuff. So the solar is officially done now. I have some like tidying up to do, but it, everything is running. It's actually running on solar right now. We have the three batteries that are connected in series. Um, we have our breaker, our solar charge controller, a fuse, our battery disconnect, and then the inverter. I'll upload our wiring diagram um, at the end of this video, so if anyone else decides to try this, um, as well as links to everything, if you decide that you want solar for something, then you can uh, find the products and then see how we wired it. Another view of the uh, inverter converter. Right now you can see that it's currently charging. Um, there's the batteries, the shunt right there, and then there's the wiring that came from shore power and our fuse panel. We ran it underneath the trailer and plugged it in here. These two wires go to the battery monitoring system and they also go to the multi-controller. With the battery monitoring system, you can see um, what your batteries are doing. And then the solar or the multi-controller, you can control how much current is coming in through shore power or limit your um, current. And then also change your inverter from on to off or charge only from inside instead of having to go down there to do it. You probably are wondering a lot of things like how do certain things hook up? Like I said, this is not a step-by-step -step guide. Um, we hooked up our um, solar panels in parallel um, and then our batteries are in series. Um, uh, here's the wiring diagram for everything. My, our hardest part for us, honestly, was um, getting a lot of these wires run through the travel trailer. You know, a travel trailer doesn't have nearly as much room as like a fifth wheel or some of the, even the bigger travel trailers. Um, and then your question you might have is like, how do you splice the inverter in between the shore power and fuse panel? Cause that was one of our biggest concerns. Um, when you remove the fuse panel out, you'll, you can see where shore power comes in. 
we essentially just cut that wire there and I bought more um, eight gauge three strand wire, um, you know, positive neutral ground. And we essentially um, just spliced in there, ran the, the wires underneath the entire camper into the inverter and then back from the inverter to the fuse panel. So essentially when shore power comes in, it actually goes through your inverter before it goes to your fuse panel. Um, so if you have any questions, feel free to comment down below. I'll try to answer them the best to my of my ability. Um, also, I'll link a guy named Mark down below. He owns something called like DC Premier Power. He helped us a lot with our solar setup. He's actually the one that I got all my uh, stuff from, but I'll link the stuff on like Amazon maybe if you want to try to get it or email him uh, to try to get a price quote for solar. He can help you up with what you need. Um, yeah, solar was very, very difficult. Uh, it's worth it. I'm glad we did it, but I'm so glad it's over. Hope you enjoyed the video. Don't forget to like, comment, share, subscribe. You're worth it.